Hello and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. On this week's exciting episode, we have a very sneaky little uh, sneak peek inside to the chamber there. That was that was kind of odd, and we'll pretend that we didn't see that. This is the clean testing chamber one, and this is chamber one of four. I'm aiming for all four, but depending on time, there will be at least one and two in this video. This is made by Ray Bunny, so a big thank you to Ray Bunny for this. The chamber features all the usual accoutrements, oh, including turrets. I haven't messed with them for a while, and oh. There's a, there's a grumpy face. There's a big grumpy face in there. Okay. Uh, this is the cle- Oh, hey, GLaDOS. No. Me too. Good. If they existed, we'd all be very happy right now. Who's I'm even curious, keeping track at this point? I'm actually feeling. Right. You done, love? Thank you. Who's even keeping track at this point? Right, uh, this is the clean testing. Recently, well, I say recently, it's probably months ago now, we played Too Clean by Ray Bunny, and, uh, we played Too Easy by Ray Bunny, and, um, quite frankly, that was a lie, so I'm expecting this chamber to turn into absolute filth at some point. There's definitely a face there, right? It's not just me seeing that. It's quite a pretty yet grumpy aperture face there. Anyway, uh, Too Clean, because everything is brilliantly white in here, with a rather easy starting puzzle, yes? Alright, well, you want me to put the cube upon there. And I've just noticed there is a door here. Why is there a door here? It's connected to nothing. Something just materialized and we've got panels that look like they're gonna do something. Also, you. No, there, th th there, there, there. Really? You're not gonna let me get, come on. That's what I wanted, thank you. All right, I haven't gotten to do this for a while so we are gonna make the most of it. Much better. All right, we're gonna be, I don't know what that door's for. We'll get back to it in a minute probably. Right, uh, another clean little room with bits that look like they might move for us. We've got laser receptors dotted about the place. Well, that's easy enough, right? You and you. You and you has done something in there, which is not the something in here we need to get past here. Is that, is that X and square on the wall in there and your X and square up there? Okay, uh, so then you're the one we want, right? That takes care of that for us. That has put this big-ass fizzler in the way and we need that cube from way back at the start. Uh, we can do you though, yes? Which gets rid of this. And we have access to that. And there's a hole in the wall. Okay, we'll go in the hole in the wall. Which puts that back. Might be a problem. Uh, up here is where we were. So this takes us back into the room that doesn't have the cube, but it keeps going around here. Into a room. This is where we started, but now there's turrets. They're really, really wasn't turrets in there before, was there? No. Uh, can I get rid of you, like, nicely? Which is the one I want to keep? Let's use the blue to... Hold on. Let's use the orange. Let's do this... No. Let's do this clever way. Let's use the blue. I was right the first time to get rid of you and get rid of you. Yeah? They sound like they're happy over there. Uh, we can take you. Still don't know what this door here is for, and we can pop through the blue into here without destroying the cube. And put you in there, which has done something. I can hear something. I don't see anything. We should clean up the place. Try and keep the room clean. I can't really do anything about the bullet marks, but uh, we all know they'll fade away eventually. So should I go back in here? Ah, that's what that weird door is for. This one has opened up for us where we have... I kind of want to say a greenhouse, but it's clearly a white panel room. Button, button, what do you do? You do... You do that. Why did you do that when I can go around here and you went away? Why did why did you go away? I can't go around here. That's why you're there. Okay, we need a ball and we need a cube. And we got a whole bunch of mess of ant lines in here. We need another ball at least. Uh, what's the mesh hole for? Mesh hole needs a cube. Lasers to lasers burn. Hey, I haven't been in a burning laser for a while. Relays, panels that are going to do all sorts of things. Entire other rooms concealed around there, which is a slash, which is that relay. Uh, we need a whole bunch of these outlines led up to get through there. And a relay in there as well with a tiny little angle that I think I might be able to exploit, but we'll see in a minute. Uh, let's press you. What did you do? Ow. You dropped a cube directly on my head. Well, we need that. Uh, we need that for reflecting things. What does star do? Is Star part of the door? No. Is Star up where the ball is? No. Is Star you? No, that's not that. Is Star you? I can't tell. No, you're Slash. We checked that already. 
Is star this? No, it's squiggle. I don't know where his star is. Is that? No, that's the one that dropped on my head, right? Yeah, that's the one that dropped on my head. Okay, uh, what does star do then? Star doesn't appear to do anything. So star in conjunction with other stuff will do something. We need to get that out of the way as well. Uh, you're not a panel, so not that way. Stick you into there. Gets you doing something. At least. Well, actually, let's let's be smart about it and line you up there, so that we can put a portal there. And where was the other place that needed lasers? You. Which is purposely not like that. Okay, fine. And not there either. And also not there. Fine. Um, okay. Maybe we don't do that bit yet. Let's drop this cube in here then. I'm hoping this will line up. Yeah, it did. What did it do though is the question. It did. At least a part of that, but not a part of that that is of any use whatsoever right now. So maybe we do you first, because then that'll do... If you're just another part of the door, that's useless. You are just another part of the door. Okay, fine. Uh, we need lasers going angles then. I need you back. Uh, I don't need you sat in there for now, but we know where you can go later. You're a new one of them. There's a panel up there that seems intriguingly placed. Uh, let's stick you... Well, let's move the orange first to basically anywhere. Uh, let's take you. Oh, you landed pointed up, which I can never get you to do when I need you to. So if we add you, like, is there an angle like you have everybody from? I have, like, that. We put the uh, blue there. Is that going anywhere good? What about... Yeah, that's slightly better. Right, now what did that do? I did slash, so we got rid of this. Is, is that good for me? So I can't do anything with that. I mean, I can go in there, I suppose. Let's go in there. Let's put blue on the wall in there. And actually go see what's in there and hope that we don't trap ourselves. Uh, there is a dropper. Is that where we were? That's where we were. So what's down the long, brilliantly white corridor? I'm guessing it's clean because everything is just these brilliantly white panels with uh, what was probably once bloodstains. Oh, okay. You're a concealed elevator into back here. This wasn't here before, was it? When panels are hidden with these brilliantly white panels, I mean moving panels, they're harder to see than the actual apparently secret panels. I, I want other stuff now. So that, you know, kind of helped, but not really in a useful way. Where's Slash? Who is Slash? You're not Slash. You're not Slash. You're Dot and Moon, but you're still stuck in the floor for now. Are you Slash? You don't tell me what you are. I'm gonna get up in there, I suppose. I get up in there somehow? What did I just fall into? The ball receptacle. Uh, probably from that and you. And which way is it? Can we do that? Can we... No, it's nowhere near. Um, we can do the loop and launch kind of thing though, right? If we... Yeah, that might work. Let's put uh, blue there. Ignore this for the moment. Let's put the blue there. Let's put the orange here. Here. Is that above me? Now it's above me. Put the orange there, start doing this thing, and... Uh, yeah, that's kind of not at all what I wanted. There was something to land on there, wasn't there? I could have sworn there was something to land on there a moment ago. Am I being stupid or was there not something to land on there? This is a weird map. There's slightly strange elements that I can't quite work on, work on, work out what's going on. Uh, you didn't get me in there very nicely, but we could probably do that again with a lower thing. Maybe? Is there a better way to get in there? Uh, there was definitely something to land on here, right? Because that's what I judged my entire attempt to get in there on. Maybe if we come out like there, we'd launch much nicer. Maybe. Uh, let's put... No, not that yet. Let's put the blue back there. Is that above me? I want the orange out of the way. Let's put that there. Let's uh, line that up better. I want to try and hit that panel as we do the dropping thing. I'm facing the wrong way. I'm still facing the wrong way. We're screwing this up. 
Why did that do? Stop, stop burning me. I shouldn't be struggling. This doesn't seem like a map that should be too difficult, but apparently I'm just not very good at the game. So, uh, blue. Very close. Um, what if we try the other asshole trick? That's not going to be anywhere near high enough. No, but there is a ball in there, and there's also a turret in there. So what was the rest of down there? It just brought us back into this space, right? Okay, well, since this map seems to be messing with me slightly, I swear there was something sticking out there a moment ago. I really need to pay a lot more attention. Uh, you in here, do you do anything new? You just give me another part of the door, right? Yes, you just give me another part of the door that I don't need yet. Do you reckon we can get a laser through there? Do you reckon we actually can we? Huh. Okay, um... Will I be able to get back out is a bigger question before we get in there. I can probably force myself through there. If not, I will, uh... I will kill myself. That just gets me to the relay. There was, there was no point coming in here whatsoever, was there? No, but if we leave that blue there, can you stick it in the top of a relay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm freaking out on these. I've, I've, I've screwed myself. I have screwed myself. I thought I was going to be clever, and I have apparently screwed myself as we slide along these. Come on, let me, let me, let me through. No, I have screwed myself by trying to be clever. I have um gotten myself uh, locked in here because. Well, I'm an idiot, aren't I? So, um, be right back. Ah, checkpoint system. Cool. Well, I know what you do. You do that. And now we know not to jam ourselves into that corner, even though it seemed like a thing we could do. Although, can I... Could I just, like, stick the laser into the exact top of the relay? That hit. Let's see if that'll actually work. Grab you and stick you into there and Oh you come on let me have both. Oh you dick, let me have but Okay, um hi. We have two cubes now. What do I need two cubes for? That's not the one that hit Ah, that's the one that hit me on the head. Yeah, I need to pay more attention. Right, uh, so that kind of did us something, but we're going to need that for the rest of the door? No, maybe not. Okay, uh, well I have two cubes, which isn't much help because part of what we need is a ball. And what do we do with that then? Let's uh, take you, put you back to doing things like that. Let's put the orange there. That's completely the wrong colour. Let's put this over here for the moment, and we know that we could have that relay with the blue, like, there, wasn't it? If we remember which portal is doing what job. Uh, blue over just a little bit more, a bit more this way. That's the one that does that. Don't know what it does, though. I mean, it gets rid of this fizzler, but that's not a great deal. There's the thing. I knew there was a bloody thing there. Okay, um... Well, in that case, I need portals to do the launching thing, but we kind of need this laser doing other stuff. So what if you went that way? And if we get that bit of panel to stick out again, which we should be able to do by going around this way instead, that's not using any portals. It's also not giving us the thing. Because you're not touching that one anymore. Wait, is it just that one for this? It's just that one for this. Okay, All right. Screw the portals for the moment. Let's uh, try and get that ball, which we were doing roughly the right thing for then. So uh, that and that and there. There. How did I put that on the ceiling? Okay, fine. We'll do that, but better. Uh, let's put orange there. Blue above. Blue directly above. Orange and then there. There. Man, I suck at this game. Like that. And... Yeah, where's my hole? Ah, I'm facing the wrong way. Ah, uh, this way then. God damn this game. Oh, God damn my inability to play this game, obviously. Uh, drop in, 
Drop in. I'm facing the wrong way. I'm still facing the wrong way. Going backwards. Missed completely. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, I want to reset my portals because clearly I am inept at aiming them. We're going to do that with you to fizzle them away. That's got to be the way to get in there unless I do just stand on the two balls at once. But this is a easy portal manoeuvre. Why the fuck can't I pull it off? That's what I was aiming for. A uh, star. Star. There was a star somewhere? Out there, maybe? Doesn't matter for the moment. Let's go deal with this turret. There is you. Goodbye. Thank you. Uh, there is a laser receptor in here as well. Is there any other way to get out of here? No, we're going to have to have a star on before we even get in here. And then we can put a laser back to it there. So let's go find... Ah, uh, hold on. No, we can just use the mesh to get out of here. Which makes a lot more sense. Let's grab the ball. And drop it out of here for the moment. Let's grab you because the title is clean. And I feel like we need to keep up with that. In fact, I'm going to burn you instead. Much better. Right, where did my ball go? Ball, uh, what do you do if you go in here? You give us a button. A button that is dot and moon, which got rid of all the stuff in the corner there, which is uh, where I managed to trap myself previously. So, do we still need that? Because won't that just give me that cube again? I think that's what gave me that cube. Let's uh, do science and find out, which means that one and like there, yeah. Uh, then I have another reflection cube waiting around here somewhere. Yeah, you don't need to do that one right now. You need to do oh, move. Stop the burning. I've gotten so used to chambers where the where lasers don't burn. Yeah, you're just that. Okay, so um, you can point a laser out of the ceiling to get that if you want to. Did that do anything else? Dot and moon. Well, the moon's done, I guess. So why don't I just go stick this ball in here when we've got maybe enough cubes for this? Because we got all of you. And there's also you down on the floor, which I don't know what you do yet. You can go sit in here. And we might be coming back for you in a moment. So has that done everything for this door? Everything other than... Other uh, than the laser receptor that is up in there. Which I can't get back into now, can I? Because we've gotten rid of the thing. Uh, but we could point you through there. And we'd be aiming a portal back there. That gives us that thing. So now I have to embarrass myself for a moment by trying to do this again. Let's uh, get that out the way for the moment. Is anything indicate doing in here? Wait, have you dropped a cube? You've dropped a cube, have you? Can I get in there cheekily? I could probably get in there cheekily, yes. Right, you dropped a cube down here. Uh, which took us all the way along this white corridor, which I can't remember what ended up at the other end of. Ah, yeah, the concealed elevator. Where we get into here with a extra cube, which means you probably want to go in there, since you're a regular boring cube with no purpose but weight. And uh, you come out this way and we've got more laser options. But I think we need to get back up in there still, because isn't that like everything now? That's everything, right? Is your start? Yeah, okay, I should have noticed that earlier. Um, what do I do with you then? Your... Ah, you go in here. Let's put you in here and hope you land in the right place. Can I just line that up a bit better? Come on. Right, I'll do you manually. You go there. Right. Is that everything other than the laser receptor concealed up inside there? I believe it is. Which means this bit again. So, uh, line up. Directly above, directly a blow, and blue. And that, but better. So get those out of my way, because I can't do this any other way, apparently. Blue directly above, orange directly below. And we made it to here, which means I can then stick a portal there. And I can stick a portal up there. And that has done the other part of the door. Is that the exit? 
Is there more? No, there's more. There are turrets in here. Oh, uh, hi. Um, fuck you and fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you. No, fuck you and fuck you. Thank you. Oh, and fuck you and fuck you and you and you. And I think that's everybody. Okay, we're going this way apparently. Where there are more turrets. Hi. And you and you. you, you. Now you kill me. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, uh, there and there. And then there's you, and then there's your mate, and then there's your friend. And then there's two more of the bastards who pop in round here. I'm ready for you and you. And you are going to frolic to your death there. That's it. Keep frolicking. Keep frolicking. Please don't hit me. You done? Right, now we have successfully coated most of the clean testing chamber one with bullet holes. Uh, we can see what else we're doing. What is this button for? I don't know. We have a mystery button. Not you. We have a mystery button. Yep, we have a mystery button. Okay, uh, well, let's do a little bit of tidying up. Yes, it does. And as long as I can take one more of those explosions to the face, we should be able to get rid of him. Yeah, okay, one more to the face. And I think that's actually the exit. Okay, so that means we want you. And we want you. And you sense me, you sense me. That looks like it's actually the end of the clean testing chamber one. Uh, looking at the time, let's go ahead and do clean testing chamber two. I thought you'd be faster at this. Federal okay, oh, hi again, GLaDOS. Require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. It is. It's got that lovely clean kind of feeling to it again. Uh, we'll, we'll ignore the yellow blotchiness and what is clearly bloodstains. Um, yeah, okay, uh, GLaDOS probably talking over that, and the fact that my portal gun has dis disappeared has completely ruined any attempts at a clean transition. So if that one looked a bit wonky, I do apologise. Um, auto portals then, yes? Okay, we appear to be dealing with auto portals. So I take it you do you, and you do you. Which means we can go grab a cube from this side. Take it back into the middle bit, nice and simple. Press uh, U. Moves the auto portal to you. And you sit upon there. That has opened up the door in the middle, who has his own auto portal, specially allocated there. And we can jump back in here. Which takes us through into another sort of tented ceiling, very, very bright, almost needs sunglasses kind of room. And there's a cube down in there next to an auto portal thing. Can you, you give me that one? And I'm hoping you'll give me this one, which means I can grab you. Right, uh, then there's a button, and as always, cubes go up on the button, and we go down into a very small observation type room with a button, who I immediately distrust. Well, what are you linked to? Uh, I don't like the look of you. Something over there? Oh, bye bye. Uh, you've done an auto portal across there for us. What's down there then? Just like a great big drop down there. Maybe we'll have to deal with that in a minute. Does that mean you're now linked up to? across the corridor type thing there. Yeah, that's where we were. I still can't see down there. But there's another button here who does an auto portal over there. And that means you take me through here into here, where we're going to need a cube. Right, I uh, don't appear to be getting a portal gun anytime soon, which is a little alarming. Uh, we've got a cube in here. We've got auto portal buttons like everywhere. Some deadly lasers and our exit right there. Okay, so clearly you need a cube, and that is just the cube for the door. No, apparently not the cube for the door. It's the cube for the deadliest of lasers. So I need to get you back out here, right? The fizzlers turn off auto portals? No, they do not. Okay, so you can go there. I can grab you from there and stick you on here. Uh, that means no more deadly lasers, right? No more deadly lasers. So I want to get in there. So what's these, this side then? You'll take me orange over there, and I got blue here, but I kind of want the blue in there, right? Which is... Ah, well, is that you? Because you're orange, right? You're orange, I don't want orange, I want the blue in there. Okay, you've got some sort of combination you don't want me to see just yet. Uh, this takes us through to this side of everything, where there is the button that does appear to do our exit. We're going to get the cube here, obviously, for the button, of course. Uh, you then. Which takes me back to this side, where the cube is not. Uh, so we need... Uh, yeah, okay, you're going to have some really bloody confusing combination of auto portals, aren't you? You are... 
that one. Orange there and blue here. Right, so then we leave the orange there. I don't have any choice. Um, I need to leave a portal in there, though. Or do I need to get the cube in here? Get a new cube in here. Can I just take it in there? How do I get a new cube in here? We can destroy it, right? If I just destroy you... Do I get a new cube? I get a new cube. And then the orange should take me into this side. And you can sit on there. And is this actually an exit? Is part two a lot shorter? Just okay, the, oh, she's here again. I have to go give a deposition for an upcoming trial. In case that interests you. It does not. Not in the slightest. You're very talkative today, GLaDOS. Um, okay, what have we got? We've got a nice simple start again. We have a button upon a cube. Right, things have gone a little bit messy. What's... What is that? Oh, it's a high energy pellet. For some reason, I was seeing a conference desk surrounded by lamps. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, we've got high energy pellets in this one and more auto portals, which means I still don't get a portal gun for now. So you go on there, which will activate the high energy pellet, which will undoubtedly kill me at some point because that's how these tend to go. Uh, you, what do you do? You do that on an angle, do you? Yeah, and then you're going to take it away again? Right, so an auto portal in there. An auto portal in there, which is you. No, you do not auto portal with that. Who turns your auto... Ah, you. You concealed, slightly merged, ever so slightly bizarrely, through the glass. Let's let's pretend we don't see that. Uh, then if we do you and you, stuff will happen. Stuff that doesn't help in the slightest. Because we need that panel over there to also be angled. I've just seen my portal gun. We need to get to that as soon as possible. Uh, how do I get other stuff then? You, you will also angle that. You don't have any buttons lodged in your glass, but you go over here to a conveyance beam. You have a button concealed on the floor and possibly our exit, although I'd probably like to pick up the portal gun before we exit. I've also just noticed it's it's that track that I absolutely hate from the music. Um, yeah, this is like the possibly the worst selection of music choice in the whole of the portal editor. So, we got to run around the place, right? So, you give me a new pellet. Okay, it's the pellets that don't immediately die off, which is good to know. So then you, and then you, right? And then that should just do the thing into there. Brilliant, science in action. Right, which gives me a button, a button which does that. Kind of feel that's unnecessary. You could have just turned that on, but a button that comes up and down is always nice to see. Just showing off, basically. Right, that gives me that. I'm gonna need a cube now. I can just go back and get the first cube because hopefully we're done. Ah, we're not done with energy pellets, but we might be done with that energy pellet. Take you up here. I like that the music goes considerably quieter. It's much more peaceful in the beam. And back to the hideous accordion. Accordion. It's not accordion, is it? Accordion is another horrible piece of music making equipment, but somehow slightly nicer than this. Uh, around here in the very bright white corridor, we have auto portal technology, which I don't want to go in there. You're going to trap me in there. Uh, what will that give me? It gives me you. Hi. The nice convenient rising you. Uh, auto portal there, which means I can go get a portal gun, right? Finally. Good to have you back. Oh, yep, thank you. you. You didn't need to spin. Uh, right. More auto portals. Auto portals and portaling technology? Interesting. Uh, high energy pellet thingy there. My portal gun... Ah, I've only got orange. That makes slightly more sense. Okay, so we want to go all the way back to the high energy pellet emitter thing, which is around here. Back in here, then um, that should just do it, right? If we stick the orange on there, and we high energy pellet, you should go do... No, because you're the wrong high energy pellet. We need to have the blue in there. Yeah, we need the blue on that wall over there. Can I just do that from the mesh? I can only fire orange. I can only fire orange. What colour portal did this give me then? It gives me exactly the right one that I want. Okay, so uh, let's go put the... The... Try and remember. Why have I forgotten the colour from five seconds ago? You're blue, right? Yes, because that makes more sense, because I can only place orange. Right, go fire the orange through the mesh. 
uh, opposite the high energy pellet catching device uh, there. Then when we open up this portal and we stand on the button, we should just take care of that and then I'll work out what to do from that. On to you. High energy pellet, go do things. You've done things, you've put that down there. Uh, I can still only move orange. We can go into this corridor. Very, very bright white corridor again. Again, I feel like I need sunglasses. There's a cube. And you do. You, you do. We have another mystery button. Well, um, go wherever it is you go, and I'll come. I'll come find you. Yeah, I'll come find you. Um, ah, up there. Okay, up there. Fine. Uh, what do I do with this now? Are we doing more auto portals? Do I leave this here? Okay, I'll leave that there for now. Might have needed to bring the cube. Wait, the auto portal's still on. Could I go back and get that? I could. But I can't get back. Yeah, might have balls that one up. Um, yes, okay, apparently I have... I have balls that up. Shit. Okay, I uh, thought I was being clever again. Can you come back up? No? Fine. Yeah, now I've trapped myself to just loop around here. All right, again, thought I was being clever, have actually made things a whole lot worse. So, um, be right back. And you checkpointed me the good side of that door. Very nice. Okay, so let's not try and be clever this time. Let's just... Oh, I do want to... Really? Okay, fine. Is this actually the exit? Maybe I was wrong about you. All oh, right, this is all. Oh, hi again. It'll be easy. Really? Uh, I don't think I've been here before, love, and you're prone to lying. Anyway, this is Chamber 4 of the Clean Testing series by Ray Bunny, and this is the final chamber in the series. So, um, hopefully this one will be easy. There's a... Uh, what's down there? There's a giant drop down there to some deadly, deadly goo. I think I see a cube. I'm pretty sure I see a cube down there. Uh, other than that, we've got some deadly, deadly lasers. We've got a conveyance beam and a button. There's a panel up there behind some mesh. We've got Delivered You, which I'm assuming is just... Yep, that one again. Thank you. Through here, we've got a button in the middle that does a light bridge over there. It's also doing that fizzler we just went through. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got, like, um, a caged-in button because it is troublesome. No, um, what is that for? Oh, are those... Ah, that's a catcher cube kind of majig, isn't it? A catcher cube majig. That's a genuine science term that I coined just now. Uh, there is also two cube receptacles over there, right next to what I am guessing is actually our exit. And since it's right there, and I've seen a big part of it already, I'm guessing it's not nearly as simple as GLaDOS alluded to. As we all know, the bitch doth lie. Uh, what do we actually want to do then? Press U for a start, right? But let's see what you do as well. You, you turn that conveyance beam off, and you turn it back on after a short time. Can I see any more down there? There is a cube down there. Is that a cube we can get to? We've got angled panels up here. I don't see. There's like there's literally no panels this side of the world to do anything with. Everything's in this first area. Is that a, like a decorative cube? Do we think? It is a companion cube. I just saw a hint of a heart. That, I reckon that's a, I reckon that is a decorative companion cube. A little cute, hey, you noticed me kind of thing, or actually not cuter, hey, look, your companion is locked away and you can get nowhere near them kind of thing, which is far more depressing. Um, I'm going to press this button with the power of that cube in here. You go do that, since I'm guessing you don't want me to go through there, you know, deadly lasers and goo just to top it off. What did that do? That has turned off the fizzler that side of the room. So we can get rid of both of these fizzlers if we want to. And I'm pretty certain we're going to be launching a cube to go press that button. Because we definitely need at least one more cube and our companion is of no use. So... Ah, well I can get you to... Oh, hold on. That's goo. Okay, so you drop and you respawn, right? Let's do a quick experiment. You drop in there. Are you the auto-respawning form of cube? You are. I know what to do, at least for this bit. 
Uh, first of all, I want you to go back up and do the job that I definitely can't go and do myself. Then, uh, if we... Oh, crap, that means i got to judge distance and shit. Um, okay. Like, uh, there? There. There looks... We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that would mean also that if I don't go in the goo, you look nice and middly. And you look nice and middly. That's going to press the button for me, right? That will delicately place a cube. Um, can I press that from this side? No, I don't want to touch the fizzler, do I? Because that will fuck everything up. Okay, no, we do it from this side, and then we go from there. This should press that button with the power of cube launch. If I stand closer to the button, that would help. Okay, give me a new cube. Please say I lined up. I lined up, and... You did. What did you do? You have delivered me a cube from a tube that I was paying absolutely no attention to. And you did it again. Why'd you do it again? Because you're still pressing the button. Is it gonna... No? I take it that's the cube you're happy with? You're all you're right to work with that one, are you? Fine. Okay, so we got a second cube. Um, we need both of them over there, but we can't get over there. To get over there, I probably need you back. To get you back, I can just respawn you, though, right? Since you respawn over here. Okay, let's respawn you. And then I've got two cubes. You're the trickier to get cubes, so let's get you to do in there for me. And then you come and do... Can't do that, because that's the wrong... No, wait, I can. Ah, no, I can't, because there's no panels here. There is those, and this fizzler is out of the way. Do we reckon we can get that to lawn, lawn... Not launch, in fact, the opposite of launch. Tumble delicately is more appropriate. Can you just come and land here for me? Like, if I do that and I catch you before you go in the... Okay, fine, land there. Right, I have two cubes, which means I can put you on there. Which means I can get across to here. Uh... You're the trickier to get cube, right? You're the one from this button. So we got the two receptacles back here. Those panels look like they're perfectly lined up. Which would suggest we need both cubes to launch this way. If the portal physics gods will smile upon me and actually make that fling perfect. Or if, you know, if they just land here, I'll just pick them up manually. Um, so... Do you auto-respawn? You do, or is that because I... I'm an idiot, aren't I? I am an absolute fucking idiot, because now... I'm trapped here. Yeah, there's no way back, is there? There is no way back. Okay, fine, into the goat. Great, so, um... Oh, hi, Glass. Yes, I know. Yeah, technically, I have already been at this point. Ah, right, so out of four chambers, I have managed to trap myself three times, which means in any given task, there is a 75% chance that I will fuck up. That's good to know. Right, uh, we know this first part at least, don't we? We need to get you to go and do in there and do that. And then... It was uh, the launching thing, which means I need to stand and place a portal, like, there. That, I think, was the right place. Then the middle worked pretty good for me last time, so let's hit you there. Let's get you to go do that button across the way again. Launch cube. Launch cube. Cube press button. Cube lands nowhere near the button. Are you going to do another one? You should do another one, right? You're the auto one. Cube lands nowhere near the button. Are you going to do another one and, like, a better one this time? No. Okay, fine. Um, can I budge you along just a tiny bit? Like that, right? And now you hit the button. Hit the button. You absolute asshole of a cube. You are, like, just fucking taunting me there. Look at you rocking, going, oh, I'm going to press it. Oh, I'm going to press it, you asshole. Okay, fine. Uh, restart. That means we need to get this cube in here again. Let's grab you. Let's put a portal up there. Let's drop you into the bit that I can't go touch. Then let's line this up again and hope um, this cube will cooperate, basically. Get you to do there. 
Then it's the middle, right? Well, it wasn't quite the middle. The middle wasn't all that good. What did I put there? I put blue. Let's put orange on you. I feel like over, but then the middle worked perfectly, but then it didn't, so I feel like over. You're one of those panels that wants me to put it in the middle. Oh, fuck it. Let's just see what happens. All uh, right, now you press the button. Press it. Okay. Okay, we found a batch of uncooperative cubes. Unless this is that thing. This is that physics engine thing, right? It's not the fact that I'm absolutely awful at the game. This is that thing where the game just sometimes goes, Hey, the physics engine's taking a shit right now. Come back later, right? Please say it's that and it's not just me. Because if it's just me, I mean, that's a full 100% fuck up. But I don't think it's me. It, it could well be me. We'll keep trying. That's how we do science. We keep calm. And we keep doing the same thing over and over and over, which never leads to any form of insanity because that guy was an idiot, and we all know that. Press the button. Press it. Press it. Right, you're landing so close that I now think you're just taunting me. Try again then. Okay, fine. Um, This could well be that weird portal thing, right? You all know what I'm talking about. I'm not just making excuses. There is a fact that sometimes the physics engine just takes a complete shit. And what should be reliable flings become ever so unreliable. Or maybe it's clipping as it goes in here. Right? It, it's dropping through there and it's clipping and it's entirely me, meaning 100% my fault. Uh, fine, go in the middle. Although, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I want to blame the engine right now. Go on, hit the button. Do it, do it, do it, do it. We found a large batch of uncooperative cubes. Okay, fine. Uh, I will give this one more go. And then I might um, jump in the goo again and see if that fixes things. Uh, then you just go do this bit. Don't technically need you to drop in there to do this bit, but uh, makes me feel like I can at least aim. So stand on you again. Then there seem to be working pretty well for me. Then in the middle, do we trust the middle? The game feels like the middle should be the right one, right? Because that's how this game works and things line up perfectly and are 100% reliable. Press it. Press it. Press it. Yeah, okay, that's nowhere near. You're an asshole. You're an absolute asshole batch of cubes. At least you are auto respawning for the moment, so I can... Oh look everybody, the cube! It magically pressed the button! Okay, and for the sake of fairness, oh look, I, I'm, I'm still over here. I, I didn't cheat at all. Yeah, okay, I, I'm going to blame the engine for that one. We all know that's a thing, right? It's not just me being awful, we're going to blame the engine. Sometimes it's not reliable. I hate having to do that. Okay, uh, so now what? we got two cubes. Um, we got a cube over there, which gave me you. And I got you over there, so do I want you back now? I've completely forgotten what I did in the previous part of doing things. I can respawn you over here, and I think that's what we want to do. So let's get you to respawn over here. Uh, you're the easy one, right? So let's get you to do the thing out there. I want you to do the thing out there. I want you to do the thing out there. Um, I don't know which cube to do with which job now. You're the easier to get back one. Because you'll auto respawn, but that one I can only respawn over there. Technically i got to be over there. So I think you got to be on the button. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Let's put uh, that one and that one so that the cube from here does that job. Then I need to get this cube out here, which I'm going to do with the ever so slightly cheeky tumble trick. Which, you know, might be intentional, might be me finding a way to fuck around. Which is probably why I keep actually, you know, getting myself trapped in maps. Don't go in the goo. Thank you. You go and sit there. Right, that's both fizzlers out of the way. So then I'd need you to launch over there. Actually, I need both of them to launch over there, don't I? If I need both cubes to launch over there, 
you don't auto respawn. And we don't want to have to go through all that mess again. In fact, let's quick save so that we don't have to do that bit again. Yeah, I'm going to blame the physics engine. Blame me all you want, but I'm saying the engine took a shit, and that's the excuse I'm going with. Right, uh, fuck, that's really thrown me off, actually. I, I had a plan, and that plan is now... It's, it's just gone. It's, it's just gone. Um, what are we doing? We need both cubes over there. We can only get over there ourselves with a cube upon you. You are the easy-to-get cube. So I can respawn you from over, I, ah, I could respawn you from that button and you could drop into a thing and out of this thing which would launch you over there that gets me that cube. I need both. But I need to be able to get back. Okay, so uh let's put a under you. Put a portal there. And if I... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. No, I've had a far better idea. It's a clever map. It's a clever design. Okay, um, scratch that idea entirely. I need... Fuck, what do I need? You've got to be on there to get that out of the way. I know. No, I got it. 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 I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius who gets himself trapped in tight corridors and behind panels. Uh, you go, like there. In fact, can you, like, sod off both of you so that I can line that up neater? You go... That, I think, is about right. In fact, can we... Yeah, that's close enough. Alright, you go there. Uh... You go there. Yeah, okay, no, this makes sense. I've got it, I've got it. Uh, then that goes... Put a portal under here, right? So that this one will... Uh, which one's which now? It's that one, right? Yeah, this one is that one. Is it? Fuck. Uh, which one's which? I'm gonna have to test. Feel like the cubes could have done with being color coded if what I'm thinking is actually the right thing. Yes, okay. You are that, and you will do that, which is exactly what I want you to be doing, but not right now. So you sit here. Uh, we do this thing again to tumble you back out. And hopefully I can catch you in time again. Let's put that there. And put that there. And before you go in the goo, do not go in the goo. Okay, just give me another one. You're not going to be anywhere near close enough for you. No, fine. We'll do it again. Put that there. And you tumble in there and I catch you. Or you just land perfectly there. That's even better. Right, you sit on there. Okay, so now if we put the blue back where I had the blue before, under this one, we're going to do a clever switch. Which I, I I really, really fucking hope is the actual solution. Otherwise, I've wasted a lot of time. Uh, okay, so that means that whilst I'm over... Hold on. Hold on, let's quick save here. Because I really don't want to have to mess with that again. Um, what am I doing? Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, this will start doing the free-falling thing, right? No? I've done the wrong cubes. Shit. Shit, I've done the wrong cubes. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. You give me a new cube and you're doing that. You don't need to be doing that. You can stop doing that. Okay, uh, fine. I do need to swap these cubes. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, it's this one that I need to get to start jumping. Which is the one that needs to... Yeah, okay, we need to swap the cubes. Fine, 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 fine. All right, you. You need to come out here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel like the cubes could have done with being colour-coded. They're both uh, that rather hideous colour of teal. So you go in there. This is the one that needs to be doing the thing in there. Oh, I hope this is the right way now. Okay, then you. Let's put the blue up there so I don't kill myself a moment. Then you line up here. And see, didn't kill myself, fought ahead. Right, and then we put the blue underneath you. The blue there. Yeah, this this makes more sense. And then we quick save here, because uh, I don't want to do all that again either. Then we press... What's where? I've got blue over there, so it would have to be... 
So I need to leave a portal under that one. So when that when the new cube is in midair that side, we move the orange onto an angled panel. Oh, please, let me say this is right. So over here, cube goes up there, orange there. Fly me a cube and don't press this button. Yes, nice. If I'd thought about it and lined those up, that probably could have actually launched perfectly into there. Right, that would mean now if... Well, we can try this now, can't we? We can put you there. And if this lands perfectly in there, then uh, I have butchered Ray Bunny's final solution design. Now, right, you do that. New cube. New cube. Yes, and... Nope, I did not butcher it, although, I mean, that probably could have worked. That goes in there. And <laughs> sit you in there properly. I was wondering why that wasn't working for a moment. I do believe that is the actual exit. I mean, it looks like it. I'm sure GLaDOS has something to say about it. But that was the clean testing chambers one, two, three, and four by Ray Bunny. So a big thank you to Ray Bunny for those. Uh, GLaDOS? Really? No witty remarks? Huh. Anyway, never mind. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a test chamber to see how much I can get stuck in it or how badly I can butcher any given solution, then please do so by recommending it using the link being described by your bendy pal down in the description. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, I had a witty thing to say at the end of that one, as was what I'm going to be doing at the end of these now, but um, yeah, that little uh, fuck around with the physics engine, I am totally blaming the physics engine, has made me completely forget what it was. So um, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, catch you later.